right now I don't want to permanently attach wires to this solar cell so I'm trying out just putting some wires onto it and taping it down hoping that gets a good enough connection for my projects so I trimmed the two wires like this and then with this red one I just uh, wrapped up the wire around the pliers to make it take a little roll it up into a, a tighter space there and uh, I'll modify it a little more and there we have it rolled up there and I, I bend it a bit to try to get it to lay flat on there when the, the wires held down and to pop it up a little bit so that when you press the wires down it holds a little tighter so now we'll work on taping it up now don't forget that these solar cells are brittle so you don't want to put a lot of pressure on them you don't want to make them bend at all and I'm just going to tape this down to give a steady base down here and now that I have that tape on there I'm going to do one more higher up keep the wire from moving I'm going to try to stick it as close to the wire as possible and that should give us a fairly strong hold there and the last piece of tape I ended up cutting a little longer than I meant to but I'm going to start up here and then when I start applying the tape on the metal I want to make sure it's helping to push the metal down so that it's touching the contact down there but again I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the actual board itself just around here because it is brittle if you try to bend it it will break and hopefully these are connected enough now where I can do some projects for a while without them losing contact we'll take a voltage reading and I got about five and a half volts and this is a six volt cell I got it under the light in the lamp though maybe uh, I could get it higher but this is definitely good enough for uh, what I'm going to use it for so now I have the wires plugged into the breadboard there's also a piece of foam that uh, came with the solar panel the shipping protection foam but I'll take a reading and you can see we got about five point one seven volts let me move the light a bit closer see if we can get a little bit higher and it's six volts so this is a six volt solar cell so it looks like I just had to move the light so we have a solid connection so I'm really happy this will be good for my upcoming videos